Hey, this is Scott of the wavecoding.com. In this example, I'll be going over the C Sharp.NET framework back on worker control. It's very helpful in situations where you want to do large processing and you don't want your interface to get locked up. You can also send progress information to the user and allow them to cancel that work. So we're going to go over that in detail. You can check out all the code on GitHub and also uh, on my website article. So let's run it first so you can see how this will all work together. You have two buttons and some progress controls. You can start the background worker, it runs and then it finishes. You can cancel it and then it fully cancels. So to add a background worker, you can just drag it from the toolbox onto your form. It drops down here in this extra area for controls that don't have a visual look to them. We can look at the properties on the right. You want to enable these two properties, the worker reports progress and the worker supports cancellation. And we can look at the actual actions. We have do work progress canceled and run worker completed. So let's drop to run worker completed in the code. So this happens once all the work is finished and then it calls a few custom functions that I had made Actually, I should start with the enumeration. I just created a simple enumeration to track any type of status, what the current status is. So we have reset, loading, canceled, success, and busy. And then we have a variable global to the form that just tracks that status. That allows us to change it in the actual background worker process, and everything will work out that way pretty nicely. It's one of our custom functions that just basically sets all of the form controls based on this enumeration variable that we have. Pretty simple there. And then another custom function, it checks to see if the user is trying to cancel. That happens multiple times in the do work step. So you can basically track while you're doing your work However many times you want to check to see if the user wants to cancel. Usually what I do is I put that function in some type of loop. If I'm doing a for each loop, something that takes a long time, I'll stick my extra function in there just so that uh, it'll be able to cancel as needed. And that gives the user a large lag between canceling and actually being finished. So this is the do work function here. This is where all of the actual processing would go. We can get a reference to the background worker itself by doing this, pulling the sender object. And we'll use that in the case of sending progress information. So we can report progress as a function of the worker and you can send it a value Based, uh, we just do 0 to 100 in this case, so we can update a progress bar. And then that calls the function of the worker progress changed. And we can just very simply update the progress bar based on that. I also have a few controls like this little animated GIF that give a little bit more of a visual feedback to show that everything's working and the interface isn't locked up. So what we do here to give us a little time for the background worker to uh, continue processing, we use the thread sleep. It's just for the example. So we sleep between each of these runs and then we update that progress information. We also check to see if the user wanted to cancel. If they do want to cancel, we exit out of this function. And after this function is finished, this automatically gets called. Let's see, where is it? The run worker completed automatically gets called. And all this does is my custom function that checks the enumerated variable to see what the status was when it finished. In this case, if it gets all the way down here, it will be successful. If it cancels at one of these, it will not be successful because we set in this function to say that the user had canceled. Very simple. I should also mention when you're doing the background worker cancel, you want to uh, set this to true once you're finished canceling the whole process. 
So that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a very helpful control. I use it a lot through my uh, Windows Forms applications. Hope you found that helpful. I'm Scott from The Way of Coding. Thanks.